Hello, my name is Martin Scorsese, and I'm taking the time from finishing my own film to speak on behalf of the late, great Wu Ting Ming, who passed away just two years ago at the age of 74. And I'm speaking on the occasion of the release, at long last, of Mr. Wu's final film, finished just before his death, Song of the Phoenix. Mr. Wu was a remarkable and courageous man, and he deserves to be not simply remembered, but celebrated as an artist, as a producer and studio chief, and as a man who stood up for his belief in freedom, freedom of expression and greater human freedom. In fact, I think he believed that they were one and the same. And I share that belief. Wu Ming gave us all, and I mean all of us, throughout the world something remarkable. Because as the head of the Tsien Film Studio, he created the conditions that allowed the creativity of young filmmakers to flourish and thrive. This is the man that made the fifth generation possible against overwhelming odds and powerful opposition. Xian Zhuang Zhuang, uh, Chen Kaiga, uh, Zhang Yimou are great filmmakers and it was Mr. Wu who nurtured and encouraged them when they were starting out. And at the same time, Mr. Wu was making his own extraordinary pictures. Then Mr. Wu was forced into exile in America in 1989, and it was a difficult time for him, a difficult life. He actually ran a video store in California to support himself. When he returned to China five years later, he got right back to work, and he directed one of his most beautiful films called The King of Masks. So now, two years after the death of its creator, Song of the Phoenix is finally being released in China. I am urging you to take the opportunity to see this lovely film in theaters as was meant to be seen and to remember its creator, Wu Tianming, a true giant of cinema. Thank you.